good morning, Warrior family. Today is um, Vlogmas Day 3, and it is a high pain day for me, um, which means that I am short of breath, because it's hard to take deep breaths because of the pain. Um, and it's a day that I normally would not record, but... I am determined to be authentic with you all um, and let you know that every day is not a high, high day. It's not a day that I necessarily feel my best. Um, yeah, that's my reality. So, for today's Vlogmas, I'm not going to um, try to record all day because for the most part on days like this, it's nothing to record. Um, I stay in the bed. I do what I can. Um, I'll probably have an energy drink. Um, and that will fool my body that, you know, I can overcome the pain to do something. Um, but I still probably won't do anything strenuous. There'll be no cooking. Um, I may get up and, you know, play with the kids for a little while or watch TV on the couch or something like that. Then I'll be back in the bed. Um, so I'm just going to do, um, the Spoonie tag. I saw that on, um, YouTube and I decided that that would work for me and I didn't have plans to do it today, but since I'm having a spoony day, um, y'all, I'm so distracted. It's a bird outside of the window, like, looking at me. Like, what is that about? Anyway, so, okay, he just flew off. Now I can pay attention. Easily distracted, honey. So, um, spoonies. That is based on the spoon theory, which is, um, I have to do another video to really go into depth about what it is. But uh, in brief, spoons are energy levels or amounts of energy. So imagine that spoons are like your battery. So maybe you have 10 increments per day and each activity takes a little bit from it. So like your battery on your phone, watching videos takes more energy than say, reading your Kindle. Um, and if you don't do anything, then you can maintain your battery longer. You still lose battery life, but you don't lose it as quickly. So your spoons for a person that lives with chronic pain, whether it be lupus or fibromyalgia or uh, Epstein-Barr, Hashimoto, I mean, just the multitude, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, psoriatic arthritis, all the different things out there that cause pain, um... Your energy levels are measured in spoons. So a spoonie is a person that has to measure their activities, has to limit their activities, because if they don't, then they will run out of spoons or energy before the day ends. So I am doing the uh, spoonie tag, and I'm going to be looking down at the other phone to see what the questions are. So... If you see me looking down, that is what I am looking at. Okay, so question number one is, what is your diagnosis? Well, I have um, lots and lots of diagnoses, like most Spoonies. Um, and oftentimes, I don't know what's causing what. So like my neurologist says, he says I have layers of pain um, and the the layers overlap each other. So it's difficult to tell what the cost of it, cause of my pain is. But um, the three diagnoses that I deal with the most are osteoarthritis. And I feel that in my knees mostly. Um, ankylosing spondylitis, which um, in a simplified way is kind of... Um, like an arthritis of the spine. It's a narrowing of the spine. Um, 
and that's what causes me my back pain. It's the reason I've had the spinal fusions. Um, and fibromyalgia, which is um, most likely the cause of the um, general achiness that I have every day. Um, I do have a PCOS and um, migraines and all those other things, but those are not things that um, the symptoms plague me um, every day, whereas the other three are things that I deal with daily. Okay, number two, what has been the hardest part of being a Spoonie? Uh, I think for me, the change of lifestyle. Um, I just commented on somebody's post that fibromyalgia was a thief. Uh, and it came and stole my finances um, because I can no longer work. Um, and if you missed that video, how I got fired from my teaching job, look that up on my channel. If I knew how to link it, you know, I would, but I don't. But I'll put the link in the description box. How about that? Um, so it stole my finances. Um, it stole my, um, peace of mind because a lot of anxiety comes with it. A lot of depression comes with it. Um, and I talk about that on my channel too. Um, it stole, um, a lot of my dreams, um, I had to replace previous dreams, thoughts, visions with modified versions of that. Um, and so it's been most difficult because my mind is still very strong. I still dream great dreams and see great visions and have great aspirations, but my body is not reliable. Um, and so for somebody that is very much a planner, um, I used to plan events and weddings, and I believe in a timeline and a time scale. Um, and for your body to not be dependable is one of the most difficult parts for me because I can't really plan anything because I don't know how I feel from day to day. Um, and I'm not a fly by the seat of your pants type girl. I like to have order and decency. I like to have fun, but um, I love to have fun. But for events and things, I like to plan them out well. Um, and you can't really do that with fibro because you don't know how you're going to feel from day to day. Um, what have I learned? Um, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned that um, plans don't always work. Um that you have to be open to change. I've learned that I wasn't as humble as I thought that I was. Um, I thought I was a very humble person, but being chronically ill and having chronic pain really humbles you because you have to rely on someone for almost everything. I've had to rely on my spouse and partner for finances for four years when I was making just as much or more um, we were a two-income household, and then we weren't all of a sudden. Um, I never knew how much value and stock I put in um, having my hair done, because I used to get my hair done every week, and having my nails done, um, because I would get my manicure and my pedicure every other week, and then... On the weeks I didn't get a full manicure and pedicure, I would go in and get a polish change. Um, that's just part of my maintenance. Part of the things I saw as necessary. I always spoiled myself. Um, and I didn't realize how much value I put in that versus on who I really was as a person. Um, and for a while I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel attractive um, because I no longer was able to get my hair done and my nails done or even feel like putting on cute clothes. Some days it's just a robe and a bonnet type day. Um, 
I was always the type to, if I was taking my kids to school, I would have on a full outfit, well pressed, uh, a bronzer, some mascara, and a lip gloss. But y'all saw from Vlogmas Day 1, that ain't happened. Um, so it took some adjustment. That was um, something for me to learn that I was not as humble as I thought that I was. Um, and I had to learn. Um, it's just been a humbling experience. That's, that's, that's the long and short of it. Um, I learned to value myself more, who I was on the inside versus who I was on the outside. Um, I learned to value friendships more. Um, I learned that everybody ain't really your friend. Okay, number four. What are your thoughts on the Spoonie community? Um, I think they're very supportive. It's um a community that unless you're a part of it, you can't really uh, understand. Um, there are common threads throughout the spooning community that we can all relate to and um that we can all um see um what distraction tools do you use um i use music uh, to distract me when I have to do, move. I have to do something. I have to get going. I enjoy gospel music. I enjoy uh, classic blues. I enjoy, you know, classic like um, Marvin Cecil by Blue Bland and uh, Clarence Carter and Betty Wright, um, ZZ Hill, you know, old school stuff. Um, I also enjoy, like I said, gospel. Um, um, choir gospel especially but I like um, some of the newer artists as well um, Miranda Curtis is one of my favorites um, um, William Murphy is another one of my favorites um, R&B as well I just like music um, I said I was going to post a playlist of things that I listen to um to encourage me and affirm me so i'm gonna do that as well i also um enjoy watching tv i like um night watch it's like a um emt type you should watch it's on hulu i enjoy that i enjoy watching medical documentaries um uh, because they distract me and a lot of them have a sense of hope I don't like watching things where people are hopeless when I'm already down. That that don't help me. Um, right now, I'm binge watching um, Afflicted on Netflix because it is just very interesting. Um, and it is definitely a distraction. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's also a distraction. So the next question, y'all excuse my dog. One of them is in here being um, protector. Whenever I'm not well, she's always very, very close by. So one of them is in here being protector. But the other one is out there fussing about something. So, sorry. All right. Um, how long have I lived with this condition? Um... After the fusion, I realized that the doctors had really done all that they knew to do, that I was just going to have to start treating the pain. Um, prior to the fusion, I had hopes that um, after the fusion, the nerve pain would stop, but that's not what happened. Um, so that's what, about eight years? Um, yeah. Yeah eight years of chronic pain, um, acute pain for about 14 years.
um, heat or cold activated? Do you feel that you have more energy on warm days or cold days? Um, it's funny. My fibromyalgia is aggravated by the heat. Um, I hate being hot. I hate being hot. Because it's like, it's nothing I can do to cool off. And I just, I hate being hot. I hate, hate it. I hate it. Feels like my whole body is on fire. And I'm just going to combust. Um, now, my joints prefer to be warm. Uh, like my knees. But my knees don't give me nearly as much trouble in the summer. But the rest of me does. So, fall or spring is absolutely perfect because it's kind of in between. Um, but if I had to choose a climate to live in, I think I would prefer the cold. Um, because nerve pain to me is worse than the general achiness of my knees. Because I could take something for that. But that nerve pain is really hard to treat. Um, and it just kind of feels like my, my legs are just... I tell the doctor, I feel like my legs aren't dancing with the stars. When I lay down, they just, the pain is just, oh, yeah. So I would much rather deal with the achiness of the arthritis, I think, than the um, nerve pain. Because like I said, you can't, it's hard to treat. Um, what is your comfort food? Um, I'm a curvy girl, so I got a lot of comfort foods. But when I'm in pain, I really don't like to eat. Um, I get really nauseated very quickly. So I prefer um, juices and teas and things like that when I'm in pain. Um, but when I've had like a rough day, like I felt like all my spoons was lined up and I killed it, then I want red meat. I want a cheeseburger or a steak. Um, a porterhouse steak from Longhorn with a sweet potato and some broccoli. Everything is right with the world then. <laughs> okay. Um, are there any positives to your struggle? I think the positive is that um, I've always been a people person and felt like I could relate to most people on some level. Um, but I've, I've, I've expanded my territory in regards to who I can relate to, who I can talk to, who I can help. Because um, I've walked that walk. Um I had already experienced the inner pain and the emotional pain because I dealt with the loss of my child um, or was dealing with the loss of my child, my children. Um, I have three children that are angels. Um, so that emotional pain, but the physical pain and the way that the physical can affect the emotional, I didn't have a handle on it. And the thing about chronic pain is unless you have walked that walk, you really don't know what it's like. Um, so I appreciate that my territory is being expanded for what I feel like is my mission in life, which is to help and encourage and motivate. Um, so I, I do appreciate that. Um, I do. I appreciate the Spoonie community and the way that we support each other. Um, I follow some people on Instagram that are in Australia and we can relate like we are next door neighbors because we got the same um, struggle. Walk the strange journey. It is the great connector, whether male or female, black or white or anything in between. Um, it is it, it's level territory. Wealthy or not, um, it's level territory. Um, and so I appreciate that community. Um, the most important advice you could give a Spoonie is take it one day at a time. Now, I told y'all I'm a planner. I believe in planning. Um, and this has taught me 
to take it one day at a time. Don't borrow tomorrow's trouble. Um, if you feel good today, enjoy today. Don't worry that tomorrow you'll crash. Um, don't worry that you might have a flare. Just enjoy whatever stage of today is. Um, and if you're not having a good day, you're tired, rest. That is not a wasted day. Oh, that it is not a wasted day. Restoring yourself and refilling your cup is not wasted. It's necessary and you're worth it. You still have value. Um, even in your restful state. And there are people that will love you just like that. So that's what I would say um, to someone maybe that was newly diagnosed or newly accepting. Because um, you'll go through stages of grief and come to new acceptance <laughs> throughout your journey. Uh, the most important advice you could give a family member or a loved one of a spoonie. To be compassionate. Um, to imagine how it must feel. To try and imagine how it must feel. To uh, just be there. And to accept that you don't really know what it's like. That you can't imagine what it's like to live every day in pain. Um, because acute pain, the flu, or aching from a workout, or a muscle cramp or muscle spasm or a torn ligament or even a broken bone, you know that that will heal and eventually you'll be better. Um, you can't know what it's like to do it day in and day out, though. And to know that tomorrow when I wake up, it'll be back. There's no rest from it. There's no rest from it even in sleep. Because when you have enough pain, you can't sleep. Just accept that you don't know and be there. What is the one thing you want people to know about your condition? I did not choose it. Um, I am not fickle. When I don't show up, it's because I felt that it was not best for my body. Um... I had to measure my spoons and they have value and I can't just be handing them out everywhere and going to everything um, because I still have to function. I have young children, I have home duties, I have wife duties. Um, and so I'm doing my very best. I am doing my very, very best. Don't think that I'm just fickle and I just don't want to be there. I just don't want to come. Or, she don't never go out of. She don't never do that. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. That's what I want people to know. I'm doing my best. And most of us are doing our best. Be supportive. Uh, send a send a Instacart with some groceries. Take a meal. Offer to help clean up. These are things that show us that you support. But don't talk about us behind our back or otherwise, because we're doing our best. All right. Um, that is the end of the Spoonie Tag. I appreciate y'all for listening to me. This is the end of Vlogmas Three. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, and uh, I'll have more than I'm doing because I'll have to take the kids to school. And I got some new goodies in the mail that I want to try out and show y'all. Um, so I'm going to do that for Vlogmas tomorrow. I love y'all. Every single day, I'm going to make